The city of Dunhuang, situated along the ancient Silk Road in northwestern Gansu Province, is where fine art and divine beliefs merge with the natural world. It's where East and West have been directed for millennia, and where the world's largest Buddhist art gallery still fascinates people to this day. The rich colored walls, the strokes of brightness and shadow, and the totems of intertwined cultures have also attracted college students, dubbed Generation Z, future of the Silk Road, to come appreciate these marvels in person. It was really beautiful. I, I found that very, very, very unique. And the, the patterns used, I thought, you know, that the patterns used these days are pretty new. But when we went into the Mogaku today, these were from like way back in the days. I think it's very interesting how they represented the story of uh, Buddhism uh, by the Chinese uh, paintings. I actually also Buddhist. Uh, this is a really interesting uh, experience for me. Among them is Fazila Jalil who related, perhaps unexpectedly, to some of the cave patterns found here. Um, this is the ordinary one. It's a, it's a very normal. Mm -hmm. um, but as we see in the caves, there are a lot of uh, uh, flowers or birds or like kind of painting. In Pakistan, we women can also have that, that kind of paintings uh, with the henna mm -hmm. on our hands. Mm -hmm. uh, and we used to do it on the events and on the celebrations. Right, yeah. right. And I see that uh, the hina or Hindi on your hand, it comes off a little bit. Exactly. Just like the murals and sculptures in the caves of exactly. visited, it decays over the decades, yeah. the centuries, and preserving them is also one of the crucial work for this world heritage. We <laughs> also as a veteran of the Dunhuang Research Academy, Du has spent more than 40 years recreating the Mogao Grotto murals and sculptures. As a conservator, he couldn't imbue his own artistic expression, but he still hoped to create an art form that represented contemporary Dunhuang. To do so, he established a craftsman village that recruits apprentices while promoting Dunhuang's art to the world's youth. <laughs> 咱们中原文化的,也有新域,甚至于更远的艺术,间接传到东皇。所以留学生们来以后呢,我想他们看到东皇艺术,他们也会看到他们喜欢的,他们也可能感到亲切的了解的方面。敦煌's complex art styles cannot be taught in a day, but students can experience traditional Chinese ink wash painting that blends Dunhuang's culture with their own. That is just the same way Buddhists and artisans did centuries ago. <laughs> Mr. Zhang, a Chinese ink wash painting master who has lived in the region for over 40 years, has specifically chosen camels as the subject of student learning. He believes that back in the day, camels not only carried merchandise, but also culture along the Silk Road. To better experience ancient Silk Road culture, the students also rode camels and learned Dunhuang's dance, drawing, and clay sculpture. For CGTN, Zhao Chenchen in Dunhuang.